So what he's doing is he's self-sabotaging. He's angry. He tries to. Yeah. He tries to. But he's, is he sabotaging your relationship? He tries to. I have to stop him all the time. Yeah, he tries to. He picks fights with me. Over what? <laughs> Dumb things. Okay. We're in different places about <laughs> the bomb that went off on our family. And I'm in a major place of mourning. And he's angry. Um, and he doesn't want to... Hey friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I just did a video about Cody and Robin at the memorial and they were claiming that Cody refused to sit by Janelle, didn't want to interact with his kids, is in a spot where he is quote unquote grieving and he can't even think about extending an olive branch to his children and trying to make amends for what he's done and the pain that he's caused and the damage that he's created in this family. So at the memorial, Cody resisted interacting with his children that he's estranged from. He resisted sitting by Janelle at the memorial. He resisted engaging or even socializing, mingling with his family because he was still apparently very upset with them and it can't get over the estrangement. In Cody's eyes, he, him losing a child was not enough for him to cross a bridge and try to reconnect with the kids that he has been estranged from. Equally though, the kids were not apparently receptive to him because they just lost their brother and Cody has caused a lot of damage in the family and they just don't have the bandwidth to manage a relationship with him. Robin, for her part, was awkwardly there because she's Cody's wife and everyone hates Robin. Most of the family doesn't like Robin because of her own manipulation and her own maneuvering within the family, the way that she controlled situations and got petty and would blow up at people and cut people off and manipulate to get what she wanted from Cody. So no one really talked to her and most of the kids want nothing to do with her that are not associated with her own kids other than McKelty Brown. So naturally, a narcissist like Cody, if he isn't going to fight with the kids that he has that are outside of Robbins, has to find chaos somewhere, right? He has to find someone to fight with because he can't live a life without chaos. And apparently now he is taking things out on Robin. Now, this is the same source that apparently just spoke to them in a different article. So the only people that are going to have information about Cody and Robin are going to be Cody and Robin because Cody and Robin do not talk to anybody else. The article is by The Sun, the U.S. Sun. The uh, writer is Diana Cooper, and the title of the article says, Cody's pain, sister wives, Cody Brown, in a dark place after son Garrison's death as depression is causing marital issues with Robin with a byline or a, a tagline that says the reality star is still grieving his son's loss despite the two having been estranged since 2020. This article is a follow-up to yesterday's article that they did that I just did a video about. And apparently it says he, he's not doing well and it's causing issues in his marriage. And this is what a source has told them about Cody's mental state. It says Cody is not okay at all. He's retreated entirely. He gets into dark places when he gets upset. So he's just in a very dark place right now. The source went on to allege that he is really depressed. It also, the article also says, it was known among Sister Wives fans that Cody and Garrison were estranged ever since the COVID pandemic, as well as with other kids. And Janelle even brought up this estrangement when she had, when she spoke to police once he, when Garrison passed away and mentioned that he and his father had been estranged. So he's grieving and in a very dark place, but he had this like really, big estrangement where he had said he never wanted to talk to his kids again and he thought they were jerks and he wanted to punch them in the mouth and you have to recall that 
He was not responding to messages. He was sent a text message by Garrison to which he never responded. He did not show up at the scene when Garrison passed away. He was not spoken to by police. A week after he his son was found deceased, he was in Scottsdale in Phoenix with his wife Robin and their kids shopping, going to expensive dinners. He was seen at the mall. When Garrison's memorial occurred in Las Vegas, Cody was seen shopping at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. He has been shopping a lot. I don't know if that's how he manages his stress. I know that he gets angry. I mean, we've all seen that when he doesn't get his way, so it's hard to know. But anyways, they said that his depression is becoming an issue in the marriage because his mental state is affecting his marriage and it's actually causing problems in his relationship. And this is what the source says. He sort of put this wall up and is internalizing his feelings. He's focused more on himself and moving on. Despite that, they don't believe that they're headed for a divorce. They said, I don't think they will ever divorce unless he continues what he is doing and pushes her out. Cody just retreats when he gets upset. He blames her for his problems. So right now he's doing that with her. Robin was doing this at the tell-all where she would talk about how Cody was self-sabotaging and sabotaging her and he was trying to like move on and he just wanted to say fine whatever and just move on. And then Cody said something like he considered going to find a new relationship and just leaving everyone away and finding a new lover. And I thought, you know, maybe that's that could be what he's doing right now. He could be very depressed, putting a wall up and trying to move on and only think about himself because Cody needs someone to be a supply. But what's never really sat right with me when it comes to the two of them is if this is how things are, it's like Robin at the tell-all made it seem like she can accept him for being this way because she loves him so unconditionally that she knows that he doesn't mean it. Like she's justifying his bad behavior of her because she'll say, well, he doesn't mean it. He's just depressed. He's just self-sabotaging. He's just this or that. What you don't hear a lot of is what is Cody doing to get help? Probably not a whole lot because the narcissists are resistant to therapy. But if a narcissist is going to stay sick and they're going to stay in a state of narcissism and they're not going to ever get better. The person that's taking the abuse isn't a martyr, by the way, for taking that abuse. They're not. They're not a martyr for being so abused and sticking through the abuse and enduring through the abuse. They're not a martyr for that. You don't have to stay in a situation where a narcissist is being abusive, is betraying you, is only focused on himself, only focused on moving forward for himself, not thinking about her, not thinking about the kids. And I have no doubt that Cody will not repeat the same patterns with Robin as he did with the other kid, other women. Because Cody says that Robin's his soulmate, but Cody doesn't know how to love. As long as Robin is giving him what he needs, he's fine. But if other people are going to start viewing her as the problem, he might too. And if he can't fight with anyone else in his family, he's going to fight with her. And then what kind of message does that send to her kids if Cody is in such a dark spot, right? If Cody is so depressed and he's so angry and he's maybe stepping out and, and going out on dates with other women. I mean, by the way, I just got a message from someone who ran into him somewhere in Arizona and he was out for lunch with Robin and another woman. I don't know who the other woman is. It could have been a friend. I don't know. But if problems are so significant, why is Cody always out with her? You know, why is he going to lunch with her and this other woman? And if it is as bad as they say it is, why would Robin stay in a situation like that? Because she left her ex-husband for less, way less. Her ex-husband was poor and he didn't have wealth. So she had no... She didn't want to put up with anything, but he dumped her, by the way. But if she willingly said she would never be in an abusive situation again, the way they're describing the situation is abusive. They're both toxic individuals. It's a toxic marriage. It's certainly not healthy to tell your child 
that I'm going to stay with daddy even though he's blaming me, even though he has violent outbursts, even though he's raging and angry and screaming and yelling, even though he yells and screams at neighbors, even though daddy has a million weapons and is super depressed. I mean, if he is this depressed and this dark, I would be removing all the weapons from my home. I would be securing everything in my house so that he doesn't have access to means to hurting you or anyone else. I would be thinking about a exit strategy if this is what he's doing. If he is not focusing on her and on the kids and he's only focused on himself, what does she get out of that outside of the money? What is this marriage outside of the money? It doesn't feel like it's anything other than money at this point. I just have to reread this. He's put up, he's sort of put up this wall and is internalizing his feelings. He's focused more on himself and moving on. This is how he responded when all of the marriages broke up too. He said that he wanted to leave her and go find another. But then for them to say, I don't think they will ever divorce. So you're saying she's satisfied with being blamed and getting angry and yelling and screaming at her? That to me is shows that they have a codependent relationship and she is enabling him and she is taking that abuse and justifying it but then in a way almost martyring herself because she's taking it. There's this thing about Robin I'll never understand, but I think it's this, this thing where she just wants to win. You know, when someone just wants to win, they don't care what they're winning, but they want to be the winner. And no matter what the obstacle is, whatever the pain they have to go through, as long as they get through it, they've won. I kind of feel like Robin wants to maybe prove to herself that she is better than all of these other women and that even though Cody has already done this to the three other women, because he's done this exact same th thing to the three other women, he's done it to all of them. He pushes them away, he picks fights, he blames them for his problems, and then eventually they can't take it anymore and they leave. But Robin has prided herself on, but I'm a good communicator, I'm a good person, I can br I can understand Cody, I speak Cody, and I just don't, I know that he's just upset. He'll get over it. So she's willing to do all of that in a way to still compete to win. It's like even though every woman has left him, she's still competing for him because I don't think Cody will ever be settled. He is a guy that's used to having people fawn all over him. Why would he be satisfied with one woman at this point? I just don't see it. I think this marriage is doomed. But it's also hard to understand this article because I can't stop thinking about how he's been out shopping with her. He's been at Caesar's Palace with her. He's been down in Phoenix and in, in Sedona with her and in Scottsdale with her and like traveling all over with her, not looking upset. Take it for what it's worth. Maybe it's also, you know... I don't doubt that he's being a nightmare, but she has been saying this for three years now to the tabloids. So if they're this miserable, then leave. It's, it's not going to get better, Robin. But I think Robin is so, she doesn't want to work full time. Cody provides her the money that she needs and the access to the money that she wants, the fame that she seeks and the accolades that she gets from being on a show or whatever that she doesn't want to have to go back to being a single mom to having to take care of herself because if she leaves cody then she has to leave their house she has to leave the stable income she has to leave the support that she gets from him or whatever the control she's under i worry the most though not for her but for her kids because if this is what their marriage is in right now their their children are in trouble like serious trouble. Like if they're seeing all of this in their home, it's not healthy for them. If they're witnessing her dad, her dad be verbally abusive and, you know, absent or neglectful, those kids that he once adored are going to become like the other kids that have been discarded. And you're going to start to see a pattern here of kids neglected, abused, and who knows if someone else isn't going to end up taking their lives because they've now seen what Garrison did and it was out for him. I'm frankly very concerned about Robin's kids because they are so isolated from everyone else. They have been so controlled by her and Cody. They are so separated from everyone. They're not only separated from the other Brown siblings, but they're separated from their own family. 
They have a whole family in Montana that they never see. They rarely ever see Robin's family. Cody has so much control on Robin that Robin rarely ever leaves the house without him. I'm not a Robin fan, but it's not a, it doesn't, um, I'm not a Robin fan, but I will say this. Robin can still not be a good person, but also be a victim of Cody. And he is the man and he will not be controlled by a woman. And if he is not in a good spot, she is not in a good spot. It's the kids I worry about the most. And her wanting to win Cody and putting Cody before her kids, putting Cody before herself, doesn't make her look like a good person. It doesn't make her look like a good mom. It doesn't make it look like her healthy mom. Someone in my comments in my last video said, a woman that cries this month much cannot be a happy person. I don't disagree. This woman is so upset and so emotional all the time, she can't be happy. So if they're both this miserable and life is this miserable, so they say they should just move on. There's no reason to stay stuck. There's no reason to put your kids through that. There's no reason to stay in a situation where your children are experiencing an abusive environment. So it's either one, not abusive, two, it is abusive and she just doesn't care, three, she's just as abusive as Cody to him, or four, she doesn't want to leave because she wants the money. And she doesn't want to leave because she doesn't want to be a single mom. Whatever the scenario is, it's not good for the kids. And you're going to see more heartbreak as a result. And it's always the children that are affected. I'm not going to play into the narrative that, you know, Robin's a victim in this right now. Because the real victims are not Cody and Robin right now. But the kids are. So tell me what your thoughts are about all of this. Do you believe that he's taking things out of Robin? Do you think they're really having problems? Or is this just a play for sympathy? What do you think about the status of the kids? Uh, do you think this is healthy for them? Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.